Today we're going to talk about some of the tools that are available for employees to use to help offset the rising costs of health care. These tools are commonly available in today's current plan designs. They are flexible spending accounts, also known as FSAs, health reimbursement accounts, known as HRAs, and lastly, health savings accounts, also known in the marketplace as HSAs. The first tool we're going to talk about today to help offset health care costs are flexible spending accounts, commonly referred to as FSAs. Flexible spending accounts are accounts that are opened by the employer on behalf of the employee to help you put aside money on a pre-tax basis to offset future medical expenses. Who is eligible for these particular plans? All employees at the firm. Contributions are typically made by the employee, but can also be employer funded as well. They're used for qualified medical expenses. Easy definition of qualified medical expenses is that these are typically benefits that are covered by your existing health insurance plan. During the plan year, flexible spending accounts are commonly referred to as use it or lose it dollars. What do we mean by use it or lose it? You, the employee, at the beginning of the year will designate a dollar amount that you want to have set aside, payroll deducted on a pre-tax basis. If you do not use this money at the end of the calendar year, it goes back to your employer as a forfeiture. The benefit of these flexible spending accounts, however, on the other hand, is that this money that you designate, the entire dollar amount is available day one for your use. If you leave the firm, this money is also not portable. The money goes back to your employer in the form of a forfeiture. The second tool we're going to talk about today are HRAs or health reimbursement accounts. HRAs were developed to be used with PPO plan designs that allow your employer to purchase a super high deductible plan design, which in turn costs the firm significantly less money. You as the employee, on the other hand, are able to maintain your same level of deductible and out-of-pocket exposure in the event of a significant loss. Who are HRAs for? HRAs are available to all employees of the firm, typically used around PPO plan designs. These are employer reimbursed expenses used to help offset deductible and co-insurance claims. They're for qualified medical expenses, medical expenses incurred under your plan design. The real key to HRAs is that this is an employer budgeted expense to help offset the gap between the newly purchased super high deductible plan and the current plan design that you're on now. These dollars are not portable, they are employer budgeted expenses and employer budgeted dollars. The third tool we're going to talk about today is HSAs or health savings accounts. The primary difference, HRAs, employer dollars, HSAs, employee money. Who are HSAs for? All eligible employees, those covered by a high deductible health plan. Contributions can be made by both the employer or the employee. One of the key benefits to HSAs is that these expense dollars can be used for qualified medical expenses, those covered under your current health insurance plan, or certain non-qualified medical expenses, such as dental or vision. At the end of the calendar year, this is rollover money. It can be used for future medical claims and expenses. If you should leave the firm, this money is fully portable. It's your dollars. It's what we call use it or keep it money. This is Jim Sexton, founder and president of Sexton Benefit Resources. Please join us again to see how we can help you and your firm with your employee benefit needs. Thank you.